Okay, another absolute value expression. This time the absolute value is already isolated on the left. So looking at this, it, is, it looks more complex, but we just use the same logic where we did with the simple case. If the absolute value of x is 2, x equals 2, or x equals negative 2. So I do the same thing here. I get rid of the absolute value bars, and this is my positive permutation. And then I also have 2x minus 7 equals negative 3x plus 8. Okay, solving each of these. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. So that's going to give me 2x equals 3x plus 15. Then I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, which is going to give me negative x equals 15. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 to get x equals negative 15. So that is my first solution. Solving this, this is 2x minus 7 equals negative 3x minus 8. Adding 7 to both sides is 2x equals negative 3x minus 1. Adding 3x to both sides, 5x equals negative 1. Divide both sides by 5, x equals negative 1 fifth. Okay. S check. With absolute value equations, you always have to check your solutions. So checking this back in the original equation. So 2 times negative 15 minus 7, the absolute value of that equals 3 times negative 15 plus 8. Okay, so I have 2 times negative 15, which is negative 30, minus 7, equals 3 times negative 15 is negative 45, plus 8. So this gives me negative, the absolute value of negative 37 equals, well, negative 45 plus 8 is negative 37. The absolute value of negative 37 is 37. Well, 37 does not equal negative 37, so this is not a valid solution. This is not true. This did not satisfy this equation. So x equals negative 15 is not a valid solution. Let's try this one. x equals negative 1 fifth. Substituting it in here. 2 times negative 1 fifth minus 7 equals 3 times negative 1 fifth plus 8. So that's going to give me negative 2 fifths minus 7, absolute value equals negative 3 fifths plus 8. So then adding these two together, I'm going to get the absolute value of negative 7 and 2 fifths equals 8 minus 3 fifths is 7 and 2 fifths. Okay. The absolute value of negative 7 and 2 fifths is 7 and 2 fifths equals 7 and 2 fifths. And that is true. This is a valid solution. So I actually have only one solution to this equation, and it is x equals negative 1 fifth. So starting out by breaking this into two related equations and removing the absolute value bar, solving each, getting two solutions, and then checking and finding out that the first one is not valid and that the second one is valid. That concludes this session for educator.com, and I will see you for the next Algebra 2 lesson.